Live from Chicago's number one news, ABC 7 Eyewitness News at 4 starts right now. And now at 4, the Arctic air that has been blasting the Midwest is bringing snow, cold, and ice to the south. And this is what happened. As a result, drivers in Alabama simply not used to driving in the snow, and they are caught in a major traffic jam. But tonight, President Obama will be outlining familiar goals in his State of the Union address, expanding opportunity for Americans that he says have been left behind. ABC's Karen Travers is live in the nation's capital with more on what to expect in this historic night. Karen? All right, live shot over Chicago right now, downtown in the Loop. Yes, the mercury is rising. You got to take your victories where you can. And when we come back, Mike will tell us just how much warmer it's really going to get and if we can actually expect temperatures to continue to climb. I got a kick out of this, though. The National Weather Service website out of Birmingham, Alabama, giving lessons on how to measure snow. Okay. <laughs> giving lessons on how to measure in snow Alabama. Wow. in Alabama. Boy, it's just foreign for those folks. It's incredible. Yeah. If you have ever wondered what it looks like to crash a ship on purpose, well, here you go. Look at this video right here. This really happened. A ferry that used to take people right across the English Channel, bashing its way onto the shore here as it was being decommissioned. So guess what? The captain decides to send that ship out with a bang. He intentionally crashes it. This scrapyard is in Turkey, and it's actually going to help the crews who now have to dismantle it. System coming up in a little bit, Robbie. All right, Mike, thanks a lot. Now, again, Chicago Public Schools will have classes tomorrow. There are, however, a few closings and delays for tomorrow, and you can see them at abc7chicago.com, our website, and right now at the bottom of your television screen. Well, some Northwestern University football players are taking steps to form a labor union for college athletes. They want players to have a say in how they are protected financially, academically, and physically. Eyewitness News reporter Michelle Gallardo live on the Northwestern campus in Evanston with this story tonight. Michelle? Time for sports, and uh, boy, the Hawks are in for a tough road oh, trip yeah. here now, and this is going to be a big test. Western Conference is, is a better league yeah. than the East. Five of the top six teams in the NHL are in the West. They a tollway worker killed, a state trooper injured in a fiery crash. I'm Ravi Bajwal. Why they were on the side of the highway moments before that deadly collision. The rock and roll band also performed with the CSO on Saturday night. Roz Verne was at that. She said it was great. Well, thanks for joining us. Jimmy Kimmel is next with Morgan Freeman, Andy Ferris, and Motley Crue. Have a great night. We'll see you back here tomorrow. By the way, Virginia. <laughs> well, certainly, uh, Ron and Cheryl, it's all really a relative matter, isn't it? But you know what? Even though with the temperatures going up, it means there's all kinds of other jobs to be done. Take a look behind me right now. This is the hardworking crew of the Skokie Public Works Department. they got a burst water main here, kind of thing that they can actually help repair now that the temperatures have gone up a little bit. What this means is that all the folks along the, the houses all along this two-block area are not going to have water tonight. It's just another chapter in the nightmare that is the winter of 2014. 30 years removed from Russia, Olga Levitin knows how to dress for the season. And the mother of three is grateful her kids are back in school. It's wonderful. They will not be behind. And unfortunately, probably they will make um, some day, snow day, uh, over the summer. On Daly Plaza, there is still just a little bit of the normal lunchtime crowd, but 20 degrees off near record lows has people emerging from self imposed cocoons. It is a little, a lot better than yesterday, otherwise, it has been brutal in this area. So it's I just came for just five, ten minutes walk, that is okay. Otherwise, you know, still be careful. In 15 years of running a century-old heating and air conditioning business, Bronson Shabbats has never been so busy. It's definitely been um, around the clock. We've been pretty slammed, just trying to keep up with everything. And down the street at the Skokie Public Works Yard, the balmy temperatures allow a first-hand view of the salt supply. The Skokie has burned through the salt and overtime budget it used for the entire winter last year. It's given us a brief respite. We'll see how long it lasts.
And we're back live, as you can see, they're just getting this project underway. They're going to be working here probably well into 9, 10 o'clock tonight because they just found a couple of more bursts along this pipeline. And as far as the salt situation goes for Skokie, they've used about 3,800 tons so far. They figure they might get in under 6,000 for the season by the time the season's all done. And that means they'll be able to use the salt that they've already contracted for at just $51 a ton. If they go over 6,000 tons that they've used on the roads, then they got to buy it on the spot market for triple the price. So when that snow starts to come down, all taxpayers can think what it's really going to be costing them. Reporting live from Skokie, Ravi Bagewell, ABC7 Eyewitness News, Ron, back to you.